Hi, and welcome to Resin Chem Tech. Now, I haven't traditionally done unboxing or product reviews on my channel before. Now, I have done uh, DIY versions, and I've kind of compared to those to retail versions of, of similar products, but I really haven't done a side-by-side -side comparison. So when a company called X-Ray Art or XRE Art reached out to me with their framed technology as art, it just so happened to correspond with a DIY project that I already had planned. So I thought this was a good opportunity to do a side-by-side -side comparison of building your own versus buying. And the fact that X-Ray Art also has a DIY option, I figured it might be a good fit for the channel. So hang around. So this whole project started when my friend from college, Mark, from the YouTube channel 1875 Lady in Waiting, where he is restoring a house built in 1875, link down in the video description, he showed up at my house and surprised me by handing me this. It's a Texas Instruments TI-99 4A computer, and it was the first computer I ever owned. It's what I learned to write code on, and it has a very special place in my heart. Unfortunately, once I moved into the Packard Bell 386s and the Gateway 486s, I didn't use this anymore, and I let it and all the games and peripherals go uh, during a yard sale, and I'd always regretted it. So when he brought me this, I was extremely excited. However, while it was in great condition, if you've ever owned one of these, you'll know that the stainless steel is really susceptible to being scratched and, and dented. This thing looked brand new but it didn't have a power supply or AV cable or any other peripherals. He did manage to score the Tunnels of Doom game that we all spent way too many hours in college uh, playing when we should have been studying. But I was trying to decide, did I want to try to go out and source the parts, or I found hacks for powering this thing off of a uh, PC power supply. But part of the problem is I actually already had a TI-99 emulator on my arcade machine including that particular game, and even the ability to go in and write uh, basic programs again from scratch with, with a keyboard if I really wanted to. So I thought maybe instead of trying to restore this thing and actually use it, and since I had a few other uh, displays around related to uh, retro gaming and, and arcades and uh, old technology, maybe I could take this TI-99 and put it in a display. So I actually ended up building a display for this. Um, and I probably spent about, this is not really about the building of this thing, but I probably spent about three days of my time uh, over uh, time that I had off work for spring break, 3D printed some parts. And of course, you've got to add LED lights to, to everything that you build. So LED lighting uh, with WLED um, and actually ended up creating a nice display. Now, before you make anything down in the comments, yes, I did clean up that wiring down in the corner and put it in some braided sleeve and cleaned up the plexiglass a little bit more. But uh, I had some of this, these parts here, but it probably would have spent anywhere between $50 and $100, and it took me, again, about three days' time to build this display myself. So how does that compare to something from uh, X-Ray Art in terms of something that you can purchase already built? Let's take a look at that next. In full transparency, X-Ray Art did send me this, um, but it wasn't in exchange for any kind of guaranteed positive review, nor did they ask to see my content uh, as part of the review. So uh, it was very well packaged. It did ship from California. I think it took, oh, maybe about a week, week and a half to get here from the time I got the original tracking number. And as you can see, it comes in a nice sturdy cardboard box. Uh, there was just a little bit of damage down at the bottom corner, but that was probably from shipping. Um, but overall, it's packaged very nicely. And inside is, again, another cover with the X-Ray Art. And I sure hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I believe that's how it's uh, meant to be pronounced, is X-Ray Art. And behind that is yet another foam insert. And when we remove that, we finally get to see the display. And here we have a tore down iPhone 4S. Now, those of you that know me know I'm not uh, an Apple fanboy, uh, but my wife does use an iPhone and an iPad. And really it's the idea of, of being able to see the technology here and the build quality on, on the device itself. So it is built nice. Uh, everything in there seems pretty secure. And of course, now the fun part of any new piece of technology is peeling off that plastic. It does have a, a protective plastic layer. This actually did cause me a, 
a little bit of problem that the plastic did want to rip around the edges instead of peeling off uh, nicely. So on the first pass here, I really just uh, pull that off as best as I can and figure I can go back and, and take care of the corners here in a minute. Okay, so I did manage to get the rest of the plastic off. It actually was, was pretty easy. Uh, I just needed to press down a little bit and, and it came right off. So before we take a closer look at the display, let me see if I can flip this over and take a quick look at the back. It does, I did notice a couple of these clips had slid out, but it's no problem just to push those back into place. which so obviously it's holding the back on. Uh, there are a couple of uh, hooks here for mounting it, but that you would have a lot of options for that. So um, I will say that the frame and the uh, front of this this is some sort of acrylic and some sort of composite so it isn't really wood and glass but it is put together well definitely uh better miter corners than than i did on my diy version so let's take a closer look at the display and i'll try to zoom in here a little bit so you can see the the text i really really like that they put the release and discontinued dates on here it's always i always like to know you know when the technology was there but everything is, is plainly labeled. They do include dimensions for uh, a number of the things, especially the, the case, the overall size, which I think is a nice touch as well. You know, if there was anything I would recommend just based on my old man eyes, would for that to be a little bit bigger. It is pretty small text. Um, of course, you've got a quote from Steve Jobs there. down there as well. Uh, but overall, it's a very, very nice display. So what I've shown is the iPhone 4S. Uh, X-Ray Art has a whole series of iPhones uh, all the way up to, I believe, the uh, iPhone 10, uh, all the way back to the actual first generation, which would be kind of a cool one. But they also have other products besides iPhones. They do have some Nintendo and PSP uh, products. Uh, they even have an Apple Watch teardown. Uh, the one thing I do like about XRE Art, though, is they do support the DIY. So they make a number of DIY options available, including tools to do your own breakdown. And they even have some templates that you can download in a PDF format and print your own template. So if you're kind of into the DIY like I am, uh, another option might be either just buy a frame with the, the template or buy the template yourself and take one of your old devices. Uh, one of the things I'm kind of excited about is in their coming soon, uh, they actually are going to be offering a Samsung, I'm going to assume the, the Galaxy series of phones, and even an old Nokia, uh, and a couple new versions of the uh, PSP or PlayStation Portable. So a lot of different options there. If you just wanna buy it, give it as a gift, that option is there. Or again, if you're, you're a DIY guy, maybe you have your own devices around, uh, again, they offer the parts of that. They even offer some blog articles on how to do a teardown of some of these devices. So maybe you've got some old phones laying around or some old uh, game consoles or uh, handheld gaming devices that you might want to uh, take a shot at tearing down and doing a DIY version on yourself. X-Ray Art makes it all possible. So let's take one final look at my DIY version for my TI-99 versus the iPhone 4S version by X-Ray Art. Uh, there's no doubt that theirs is more professional, more slick. I do love the breakdown and the labeling of all the different components. Um, it's also much thinner, and the fact that it's built out of those composite materials makes it very lightweight, so it would be very easy to pretty much hang it anywhere, just directly into drywall. While my version, made out of wood, and the TI-99 is heavier, you're not going to hang mine on the wall unless you anchor it into a stud somewhere. So just a quick comparison between a DIY version versus the version by X-Ray Art. So what are my conclusions? Well, I like to build things myself, even though I'm not that talented at it. Uh, currently, the iPhone 4S uh, frame that I showed is currently $139 on the X-Ray website. If I had to buy all the materials myself, uh, I didn't have anything here, all the wood and the, and the plexi and the paint and all that. I probably would have been somewhere around $100 in terms of building my own by the time you threw in LED lights and controllers. Um, if I was going to give a gift, uh, I would definitely consider purchasing the, the X-Ray Art. Uh, mine just isn't, isn't that great. Mine is much heavier, so it's much, going to be much harder to hang on a wall. So there are a lot of pros and cons. Uh, I think if, if I were to make something, I do like the idea of buying the materials from X-Ray Art and then doing my own teardown from there. 
So hopefully this video gave you some ideas of how you might either do this yourself, uh, purchase something as a gift, or maybe a hybrid model. If you found anything uh, that you liked or found useful in this video, please hit that like button. That lets me and YouTube know you would like to see more videos like this. If you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell icon to be notified when I release new videos. As always, I would like to say thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.